What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell. Make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content that we have coming out. Now I haven't put out videos in the last two days. I got my COVID shot and it put me down for a day or so. Feeling tremendously better now. Have no issues. So we're going to be diving into some Wonder Woman with issue number 778. Now, if you haven't been keeping up with this line, go ahead and check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It will get you completely caught up on everything going on in this line. And what we've seen so far is Diana lost in the multiverse, jumping from reality to reality. And it's all in a hunt for Jonas, the half god that is carrying a weapon that can cut through the very fabric of reality. And with her overall goal trying to make it to Earth Zero, trying to erase everything. And so with Wonder Woman tracking her down, they find themselves in a very peculiar place. And with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into this issue, we are picking up with Diana trying to figure out where she is. With them following a trail of blood, this seems to be the only clue on where Jonas went. But as they make their way through this mystical place, we learn very quickly that this is the Phantom Zone. And we learn that with the introduction of Zadu. And Zadu has made a deal with Jonas. If, if he is to stop Wonder Woman, then Jonas will bring him to Earth Zero. Bring him there so Superman can pay for putting him in the Phantom Zone. And as we see this fight break out, we see Siegfried go over an edge. With him going over an edge, he gets picked up. He gets picked up by Ether. And this stops everybody dead in their tracks. And he lets Wonder Woman know. Usually when people come here, he doesn't allow them to leave. But because John has breached, breached his dimensional walls, tearing a very fabric in his mind, he is now tasking Wonder Woman with hunting her down and bringing her to justice for what she has done to him. And so we see Wonder Woman, Siegfried, and our squirrel friend all jump into this tear in reality. And as they jump into this tear, they find themselves in a very unique place. After looking around for a minute, trying to figure out what is going on, this is when they run into Batmite. Because they are currently in the fifth dimension. And with running into Batmite, of course he is absolutely starstruck. Because his entire identity is wrapped around Batman and, and how much he loves and looks up to Batman and wants to be his sidekick. So seeing the real life Wonder Woman gives him extreme excitement. And as Wonder Woman tries to get any information she can get from Batmite, trying to figure out which way Jonas went, this is when we run into, of course, our fifth dimensional friend, Mr. Mixie. And of course, his name is much longer than that. I'm going with the shorthand on this because I hate pronouncing his real name and it is super complicated for me. But what we see is all of them teaming up to try to find Jonas. And so we see our team head off, going across the rooftops, trying to find any sign of where Jonas could be. And it doesn't take long for Wonder Woman and all of our fifth dimensional friends to find her. And the fight breaks out very quickly. We see Wonder Woman charging in and Jonas trying to use her scythe in any way she can to defend herself. To try to make sure Wonder Woman just does not beat her to a pulp right now. And in the midst of their fight, we see Batmite jump in. Jumping in and hitting her directly in the head. And the whole time they are fighting, she's trying to tell Diana that you want the same thing I do. That you want this power, you want to be able to control everything in every aspect. And seeing that she is outnumbered, seeing that dead man is sitting here on the ground, she needs to get him out of here because she needs to use him. And so Jonas rips a hole in the fabric of reality yet again. And so wasting no time, Wonder Woman and Siegfried, they take off. They take off to try to get into this portal before it goes away, before the fabric in reality fixes itself. And while they make their exit, we see the entrance of Wonder Might. And as Wonder Woman and Siegfried land on the ground, they find themselves in Gem World. And with Jonas directly in front of them, she is warning them to stay back. 
that if they do not, she will kill Deadman right here, right now. Now, throughout this entire story, we've really started to understand why Jonas is doing exactly what she's doing. Being separated from her other half. She is only seeing of the future. She's not, she's not looking at the past. She's not remembering the mistakes that have been made throughout all of history. And so being so one-sided, looking at just the future, this is part of why she's become a monster. Because she believes her end goal, her overall mission is going to be completed and it doesn't matter what she does as long as it comes to fruition. As long as her ideals, they come to life. That anything she does, anybody that dies, it will all be for a noble sacrifice. A sacrifice for a better tomorrow. And Wonder Woman, she really tries to have her understand that this just isn't the path. Because you are separated from your other half, you are not learning the lessons, you're not remembering the past. You are so tunnel visioned on the future, on making the future full of peace, that you don't realize the destruction that you are causing along the way, and that this will only end in one way. And with their duel continuing, with them battling it out, Wonder Woman, she brings out her lasso and wraps it around her, knowing that she could use it to command her, using it how she always has before, but for some reason, she does not. She hesitates. And because of this hesitation, Jonas is able to break free. With Jonas breaking free, she sees the dead man has awakened. And with him being awake, she goes over, grabs him, cuts open another fabric of reality, jumping through it, only to be followed by Wonder Woman and Siegfried yet again. But this time, they're landing in what appears to be some kind of prehistoric era. And with Jonas setting the forest ablaze, Wonder Woman picks up Siegfried and they fly off. They fly off to try to find out where the other cut in reality is. And as they fly off, we really see this relationship that they've been building up. They have a real connection. Whether it be a, a romantic connection or, or simply one out of respect, it really does seem like there are some, some lingering, underlining romantic aspects to this. You know, we've definitely seen them together in bed before. And though Wonder Woman thought that was going to be like a, a one-time, one-night thing, with him being by her side, we've seen this relationship really be able to turn into something more than that. But while they are talking, their conversation gets interrupted. And that's because they see the new portal. They see the new breakaway in reality. And so rushing over to it, Wonder Woman, she jumps in. Being the first one in, Siegfried, he's not nearly as fast as she is. And so he's slagging behind. He runs into some prehistoric monsters, cutting his way through. He barely makes it before it closes. But Wonder Woman is finding herself in a place that she cannot recognize. Because this place, it lacks any pigment. There is no color. There is no background. It is completely and utterly white. And as she looks around, she realizes that she could very well be dead right now. This could be the end of it, and she failed everything. But she refuses to believe that. Knowing that this has to be some kind of trick. Knowing that Jonas has to be tricking her in some way, shape, or form. We see some color start to come back. And with Wonder Woman gaining her color again, she screams out to Jonas, telling her that she needs to show herself. But when she does, it's to divulge that Dead Man is now in fact dead. And Wonder Woman goes rushing over to his side. And Jonas tells her that the purge has begun. She is now going to purify everything. And now she needs to embrace this new future because that's exactly where she is right now. She is in the future. A future that Jonas creates. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. You know, like I've said before, this has been a, a relatively interesting line. I've enjoyed seeing her jump across the multiverse. Um, my only real problem with that is we've already seen that recently. We've seen that with Wally West. In the Flash line, we saw him jumping all over the timeline. And so I kind of feel like it's, a, it's kind of a cop-out to do it with Wonder Woman. But I'm really hoping that this all brings her to Earth Omega. To meet up with all of the others that are currently there 
and everything that's about to go down. Especially if you haven't read the Infinite Frontier line, go read that because that's covering all of this stuff I'm talking about when it comes to Earth Omega. And so it's going to be very interesting to see Wonder Woman play her part in the bigger Omniverse. I'm just ready to get to that point already. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you have not yet, do me a favor, hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out, and until the next breakdown.